go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, this is Nebulous Prime number 47, Smash 4 Doubles Grand Finals. We have Dark Blues and Jaden versus Ninja Link and Venia. This is the match we just saw in Winner's Finals. And the Double Frog team more or less dominated that set. So hopefully they can make the adjustments to see themselves get the reset and hopefully the whole Big Bang Boodle. For lack of a better explanatory term. Also, resident hype man, Josh, in the background. You might be hearing him a lot. Same with... Excuse me. Same with... Uh, Blue Terror. Oh. Okay, he shouldn't be coming. Oh, never mind. I thought I was going to finish him off for sure. I am wrong. What happened there? Was that a... Wow. A silly stock for a silly stock, I suppose. But red team is at quite the disadvantage now. I'm not sure what made him SD. I think he did he hit the lip of the stage instead of the um, instead of the actual wedge and go tumbling down. alive though. Okay, that was silly. Uh, I think they're going to opt to stay out for now. This is not looking good for, the, for, for game one. Is he still having control malfunctions maybe? Alright, good news of Shadow Sneak getting out of danger. Whoa. You do not wanna you do not wanna lose stock that way. Fourth throw to bear, gonna chop him. And Kyle popping off with limit. 599 boys take game one. Yes, I know they actually cost $4.99 each, but I'm talking about Wii U and 3DS. Because we have both games, why not do it, right? Alright, so game two, we're going to FD. This is the right team to count pick. I'm not sure exactly what their strategy might be. Cause I know I know any like platform helps them create ladder combos easier, but you know if it's battlefield that's easily Cloud's best stage, so I don't want that. Right now it's looking like a slugfest between both members of both teams on opposite sides of the arena. Get double fair there. Hydro pump? Nope. Too low. But they made him waste the limit, so that's a good thing.
Oh, I thought he was going to miss that. Oh! That... That was dirty. Just pushed him off of you and started saying, no, no, no. You go, you stay over there. So, everyone down in stock except for Jaden now, which can be easily remedied if, if so much is possibly a Nair, if they're high enough up. Venya going risky there, trying to get the Dare to send Dark Blues back down, but not quite getting it, hitting the floor instead. Not quite. That's just putting on damage at that point. Wow. I don't know if he... I'm not sure if the down throw put him in that perfect position by itself or if he died that wrong. Oh my goodness. Both teams, both teams putting on the work. Alright, check out Bayonetta, which is good. See, if he was going to do that, I'm questioning why he didn't just bring him down with him. At least make it easier for... Um, excuse me, make it easier for Jaden. Oh, I'm trying to get ladders going. Having one go in and the other charge water shirt him, covering a multitude of options. I think the only way for Bayo to vote both of is just to like fast fall down. But by then, at that point, would she have enough? Would she have enough distance from the side B to recover? she wasn't used already. So a red team by banning line lap. It's blue team's counter pick. Lucas? Mm, I don't know. I mean, Bea was working just fine as is, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not him. I don't, or at least I don't have that Lucas proficiency, so maybe you know something I don't. All I know is he has to be careful if he needs to recover PK Thunder, because if Eva Frog is on point, that's a, that's a wash. Also, let me say hello to the chat. We have about 60 watching right now. I only see a few names. If you're watching, if you have an account, if you're tuned in, you know, say hello. I'll give you a shout out. Because we wouldn't be, we couldn't do this without your support, which we thank you very much for. Back to the match at hand. Ooh. I mean, he got one, but he also got his partner. 
I don't know if that was a good trade. Lucas throws one Greninja away, but the other just comes up and chops him in half with water swords. Oh. Oh. Can he save him? Wow. Okay, he lived through all that, but that was perilous. He lost his jump. Accidentally, Lattice is partner to Oblivion. To the great froggy heaven beyond. Good use of Shadow Sneak to recover past you know, getting edge guarded, but it also leaves him wide open. I would have, okay, he got the combo, but otherwise I would went for upper fourth throw there. Oh, Benny is in danger. What in the world? Okay, he's trying to, he's trying to give his part a little boost to come back, but didn't quite work out as planned. Now, unfortunately, Jane's on his last stock. So much as a... An up throw from Venia will definitely do it. I don't know about Ninja Link. I'm not sure if Rage is that much of a deficit. There we go. But see, now, here comes the problem. Because they have to do their froggy footwork. All fancy. Oh my goodness. Hyping people up in the background. What is a solo Whoa, dear. What is a solo cloud to do? He's alive. If that was Venia, he would have been dead. Okay, that was weird. Wow. Hit one up and the other down. That was strange. Dark Blues. Oh. Uh. Game two, or excuse me, game three goes to Ninja Link and Venia. Okay, so Red Team only needs one more to take Grand Finals. Blue team needs to reset and then get three more. I have a feeling they banned Battlefield. Smart. All right, so this is game four. Already. For a second, it looked like Darkness was already going to get sandwiched between all this froggy water business. Falling, falling bear. Good idea, but didn't quite hit him. Definitely to put him in a disadvantageous position. Jin, on the other hand, is doing all he can to cover his partner and put damage on the frogs because Cloud is there. Try and true killer, so to speak. Wow! Actually killed with substitute. By God. Okay, but Forex Max is gonna take uh, Ninja Link straight out. And Backer's gonna take out the other. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, wait. Okay, he's alive. <laughs> Just barely, though. That's a problem with Cloud. Foul limit, you know, Jin kind of has to ladder him back up. And yes, it saves him, but it also attacks on damage, making him die eventually sooner than without. Granted, but damage is better than a whole stock, but still. Really? Really? Essentially, Jaden shouldn't have to. Wow, the footstool. Jaden shouldn't have to go and save his partner every time. Because it. To me, it feels like he's doing more of that than actually, you know, fighting the enemy. Okay, I'm not sure why he went Pika Thunder all the way under the stage. I'm not sure. Don't know if he's trying to get anything from that. And, you know, Team Bokeh Gyro over here knows that, you know, if they can take out Cloud with ease, with water, with footstools, down air, bear off stage anything so really whoa that was close really I think Dark Blue just wants to stay mid stage for the rest of this game and possibly a set they see at game five stocks are even well not anymore they can be though if either of them gets a quick powerful hit on the joint I think that's what Dark Blue is fishing for. Or, you know, Fort Smash can kill Nidgelink from the back. Weird. Then again, there are quite a few Fort Smashes like that that will wind up hitting, just wind up sending people behind their uh, direction. I know Sonic says that quite a few times. And there goes Dark this last stock. Ooh, what is a solo Lucas to do? Uh, he can't land. Well, not easily anyway. Okay, I'm not sure that. Can oh my God. That. That was a mistake. Up throw. Game five it is. That, uh... That unfortunate friendly fire kill there was just what they needed, though. I don't think they're going to get another one of those. So they might have just taken a run with it. It's now Red Team's counter pick. Are they going to stay their characters? Don't choke me, Rabbit. Don't choke me, So game five takes us to final destination for what could be the last game of this set. Well, definitely of the set, but the last game of doubles, I should say, today. Oh my goodness gracious. I thought that was a fastball in there, and that would have been death, because I've seen many a Greninja accidentally do that. They got us, again, they got a saving grace with that friendly fire kill last game, but now they really need to, like, pay attention to what both the opponents are doing. What you mean, blue team? Alright, for our slash, it's gonna do it. I thought I could have lived that for a second.
Things aren't looking that great for the red team, percent-wise. Especially on this. Why did he just hold? Oh, that's why. I mean, honestly, up throw would have killed him there too, but hey. I get the feeling that they're gonna one one or the other, if not both, are gonna work stupid hard now to kind of cheese Cloud out from early stock. I mean, it's certainly doable. They also don't want him getting limit. Uh, good patience. Whoa, good tag. No OTG shenanigans here. That was a waste. Jaden, being the good teammate, catching Ninja Link from behind while he's probably trying to kill Cloud and steals his first stock. But unfortunately, that was only his first stock, and both of them are kind of not healthy, to put it lightly. Alright, up throws Venia to death. Oh. At that point... I'm not sure, I didn't see whether or not he was grabbing a ledge, but if he was, he could have just dropped and uh, tethered it. I really hope it doesn't cost him long run. So now they are full stock behind. Whoa. Okay, steals his. I was putting a down smash there. Catch him re grabbing. Uh. Oh. Looks like he could have lived that. Oh, here we go. So much damage. So much damage. What is happening right now? Pushes him back on stage. I was putting a dare there. Wow, they are just all over the place. A wall of water. <laughs> and that's it. Grand Finals and by extension doubles and Nebulous Prime number 47 goes to Ninja Link and Venia. Team Frog takes it once again.